You are watching Access the Port County Channel 97. Coming up next is the March 28th meeting of the Michigan City Sanitary Board. You can find more information for this meeting at www.accesstheportcounty.org. Um, we've got a full house in here today, so under public comment, I'll ask everyone to keep it to five minutes, please. Um, um, and uh, we had a number of business items to take care of. So I'm going to call the meeting to order for the Board of Commissioners regular Thursday, March 28th, 2024 meeting. I apologize that we're a few minutes late. Um, and uh, so call to order, uh, roll call, hold editor. Present. Chris Yugowski. Present. Tim Warner. Present. And Tim Smith. Board members are all present. Um, you guys have read the minutes of the previous meeting. Uh, the regular board meeting, we'll take that one first. Um, is there any comments about the regular board minute meetings? Any uh, corrections um, on those? If not, I'll entertain a motion for approval, please. Move to approve. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion approved. Special board meeting, Monday, March 4th, 2024. Um, um, is there any additions, corrections uh, from those minutes? No. Seeing none, I'd ask for a motion to approve, please. So, so, go ahead. So moved. Second. Second. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, motion passes. Uh, we're going to go to public comment. Before you do that, Mayor, uh, sure. the, uh, you need to approve the minutes of the executive session. We just did that. The executive session. We did. No, we approved the special meeting. We approved the special meeting. Oh. It was the executive session, too. Oh. Um, okay. So, I, I don't believe there were minutes. Yeah, they're not on the agenda, no so I don't think there was anything on that, Jim. Well, we, but we, we did have it. We did have it. We did have it. We did have it. Okay. All right. I did. Um, I, I have a draft, but I didn't get a final version. I have a can can we see that, Rachel? Please. I'm gonna pass that down the way. Yes, sir. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, okay. Do you see it? Both? Yeah, I, I, I've seen it. Yeah, it was sent to us. Rachel sent it to us, and I, yeah, I thanks, Rachel. Responded. Yeah. All right. So no corrections yeah. or anything to it? I'll ask uh, uh, for the uh, minutes of the executive session. Um. On the on March fourth as well. Motion approved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, motion passes. Do I have to sign this? I'll have to sign it after. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Rachel. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So we move on to item four, public comment. Yeah, Mr. President, uh, Don Prisblinski. City Council President and liaison to the Sanitary District from the City Council. And I have two items. The first item is at the last uh, district meeting that I attended, I had requested that all the equipment be labeled and any labels that were faded, new labels put on, any mobile equipment that the district owns, they also have identification on them. And I guess I don't know what you call those machines with the big arms on it and they cut the brush, brush cutters, I guess. I don't know if those have identification on them, but they should also have identification on them. So I would just like to know where the uh, district stands at this time as far as getting that done. So I, I can address that. Yeah, so Mike, just so you know, Mike and I talked after the meeting and I asked Mike to take care of that. So um, whoever wants, between Steve or you, whoever wants to give an update on that. Well, okay. if you walk through a parking lot, you'll see the vehicles yeah. are with Steve. President Presbolinski, all of the white vehicles have new stickers on them. Some of the some of the mobile equipment, not yet, but the entire fleet of white vehicles, garbage trucks, service trucks, pickup trucks, um, jet trucks, sewer cleaning trucks, they all have labels on them. Okay. And not to debate the issue, but I know there's two trucks out here. I don't know if they're the large dump trucks that don't have any labels on them. They're sitting right here in the parking lot by the filling station. So what I'd like, uh, out of courtesy to the liaison uh, to the council, that when you get all 
everything labeled and done, that you give me a call so I can take a look at them to verify that it's all done. We do have to, sir. Okay. Thank so you. I, I think appreciate that. I think they're hedge hedgehogs. The yeah, whatever. So, yeah, whatever they're called. Yeah. Bush hogs. Bush hogs. Bush Thank hogs. You. Not hedgehogs. So yeah, Steve. So put those on your list too, please. All equipment. All equipment. Okay. Yeah, and then the second item is uh, uh, last fall, the city council had approved the resolution mm -hmm. for five hookups for sewer service in Long Beach, and that was approved by the city council and, and brought back to the sanitary district. And before we had approved that, I had talked to Superintendent Miladovich prior to that council meeting if we had capacity and he said we did and that's the reason that that resolution moved forward through the council and was approved and then brought to my attention uh, that the board took it back and they denied it okay they denied the permit uh, but nothing was ever sent back to the city council that had approved it but then nothing was ever sent back to the city council and saying that the sanitary district denied it for whatever reason. No reason was even given, except now that I know that Attorney Bergerson is following up on this issue, and here we stand today. So I would like an explanation. If you have time to do it today, fine. If not, then call me in or give me a, better yet, I would like a written explanation so that I can pass it out to the council members at the council meeting and explain to them that their vote that we approved was negated by this board and for what reason. Councilman Prevalinski. Thank you. I, I appreciate your comment on that, but you do know that you were at a meeting and I addressed you on that and I can pull the minutes on that. So we're happy to give you a written response on that, but we have talked about it and you do know about it. Uh, so I, I'm not. Okay, gonna, I, I will pull a minute. I'm not going to debate you. On I'm not going to debate but either. But I'm going to. Yeah, I'm not going to debate it either. I with all the other, respect, I think the issue that you were arguing about at that meeting was the big project yes. that we had. No. You turned back and said that the city council denied it, and now it's our problem. I, I did say that, it's but you problem. stood up. That's you it. stood up and you asked the question about the five homes, and I explained it to you. And we can redo it and re-explain it to you. I'm happy to do that. Why we don't have capacity, I but that. I just want to bring it to your attention. You do know about it. I would appreciate if you would give us a written explanation. I'm, I'm happy to do that, but okay, but again, you. I just want to say we can go back in those minutes and, and you can look at those that I did bring it to your attention and I did address it at that point. So please don't say the board did not address it with you. If you want to go back and look through the minutes, that's your prerogative. I'm, ha I'm happy to. Smith, but I'm not going to sit and look at the tapes to see what meeting and when it happened. But I would like a written explanation so I can take it back to the council and get right. it to them. Thank you. Okay. Any other public comment? Good afternoon. Michael Bergerson on behalf of uh, Lakeshore uh, Sewer LLC. Uh, good afternoon, Mayor. Thank Congratulations. You. you were there at the meeting of the City Council, uh, as was uh, Mr. Chris Belinsky. I represent Lakeshore Sewer in front of the City Council uh, last, I want to say May, June, throughout that uh, period of time, uh, dealt with members of Council, City Attorney, who's also present here today, in order to uh, obtain Council approval of the application uh, to uh, connect to the Michigan City Sanitary Sewer for these five homes. We got the uh, capacity letter uh, from uh, the Sanitary District, presented it to the Common Council. Uh, the Common Council uh, was very concerned about whether or not uh, we had that. We did. It was obvious. It was uh, verified. Uh, and the Council approved unanimously the connection for these five part-time homeowners. Now maybe there's one full-time, but mostly part-time homeowners along Lakeshore Drive who were willing not only to fund this project themselves at no cost to the city, which was again a big part of the approval that it would not cost the city anything. Um, 
that they would take care of everything uh, and the council approved it. The next step for uh, my client was, and the engineers was to take uh, that permit and the ordinance approved by the city council to the Indiana Department of Environmental Management uh, for approval of this construction project and getting a permit from them. <coughs> Attached to that permit was the approval of the city council, also the certification made by uh, the employees of the Michigan City Sanitary District that, again, capacity was available for these five homeowners. It appeared uh, as though this would be sailing right through Indiana Department of Environmental Management without any issues whatsoever. At some point in the process, the Sanitary District filed an objection during the comment period to uh, our application which put a, a roadblock into place on the uh, issuance of that permit. After much conversation with the attorney for uh, IDEM, uh, they said, listen to the sanitary district, you cannot do that. You've already certified that you've got this capacity. You're going to have to withdraw your objection, which the sanitary district ultimately did withdraw their objections, and the permit to construct this sewer line was issued. We were given, my client was given a one year period of time to get this done. We've already spent now six to seven months of that construction period without having a shovel in the ground. Uh, we're hopeful uh, that number one, the sanitary district will approve uh, our connection, our permit. We submitted plans again uh, last month before the meeting, that I was told that they were under, re under review, uh, that we'd have an answer. I said, just give us an answer one way or another. Either approve us or deny us so we can go on to the next step, which is only fair. We just want an answer one way or the other. And so we're back here today. We're not on the agenda, but I still ask this board to give us an answer to our application. Are we going to be approved to connect? Or are you going to deny us so that we can take and go on to the next step? That in some substance is why we're here today. Mr. Wojcik is here. Mr. Clifford from the uh, organization is here as well. So we ask for, you know, the other thing I was going to mention, you know, it, we're all uh, men, women of our word. When someone says to me and verifies, certifies, on three different occasions that you've got capacity, I have to trust you at your word. We have trusted you at your word. And I don't know what more uh, that trust is uh, obviously broken, but we would like, from my client's perspective, to take a look at the lift station to, into which these hydraulic fluids would be going. We'd like to see and verify for ourselves that you don't have the capacity. Mm -hmm. whether it's our engineers or an expert or something else, because we know how much fluid's going to come out of these five homes. Give us that option. We'll take you up on it at our expense. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Any other public comment? Any other public comment? Any other public comment? Seeing that there's none, we're going to move on to the rest of the agenda. So, all right, and then we can um, address this either under new business or old business. All right. Okay. Well, if it, I mean, if not, we'll, we'll go. I mean, if it's yeah. going to be addressed, we'll stay. Yeah. Yeah, and I appreciate that, Mike. I do. So I guess um, what would be the pleasure of the board? I think we suspend the rules and go ahead and address it at this moment since they're present. Okay. I'll make that motion. All right. I'll second that motion. Okay. All right. So, um, mm -hmm. Mike, do you want to come up to them? Sure. Okay. Thank you. Um, so, to address your concerns on this, and you and I have discussed this before. Yeah. Um, the reason why the five homes were not allowed 
was because it was found out by the staff that the line that we promised originally was a different line. And in finding out that the line is the one that we don't have a lot of capacity on, kind of changed things to what our direction would have been with them. Um, and because of that, that was our issue because it wasn't only considering the five homes, it was considering additional people that wanted to hook up as well. So what we need to do is we need to figure out, um, you know, how we're going to do the relief sewer so then we can have the capacity for not only those five homes, but other projects like the project at St. Andrews um, Church in Michigan City that right. we're also tying to that. So. So it's not, it's not trying to penalize your guys, it's trying to figure out what we're going to do. And Jim, I, I, I mean, I, I don't want to get into attorneys here, but you know, Jim, I'd like you to kind of address some of the things too, if you would, please. Sure, the, um, the, the capacity certification is just wrong. And it's not a, it's not a, it's not a, just pump, it's it's not a pump station that it is the issue, it's a manhole in a lower portion of the sewer. So I would see no reason why the district wouldn't allow you or whoever wants to go out and look at that manhole when it's surcharged after heavy rain, which is what the problem is. As you may recall, I got way back in the 2010, 2011, there was issues with the manhole. It turned out to be either the same or identical manhole overflowing and going into Trail Creek. And the district took a project and Stop that. <laughs> but as time has gone on, increased uh, discharges have been added to that sewer. And at this point, under rain, wet weather conditions, myself and the board have been told by staff that the uh, elevation of the water in that manhole has gotten within like eight inches of the top. Per five or per eight? Yeah, no, uh, five per five. five. Okay, five. And whatever. Three and five. Yes. Yeah. So I mean, it goes <laughs> five. <laughs> Any given yeah. day. It's not an insignificant. It is not a significant difference whether it's five or eight. <clears throat> uh, and also, as you are aware, Judge Bergerson, what the state eventually said was that their permit could would not be pulled, but that they, meaning the state, would not in any way be able to even lean on the sanitary district to issue a connection permit. Their, their permit governs the plans and excuse me, specifications for the actual construction of the sewer system. It does not include a right to connect. Only this board can give that right. That, to that's correct, but they also said you can't go forward with the objection after you signed a letter of verification and, and certification that no. there was capacity. No, what they said was since they issued their permit already, yeah. based on that, they couldn't reverse their permit. But they had the permit they for construction only, not for connection. They themselves relied upon the yeah, information that was provided by the district. Of course. So, which we relied upon, which uh, the city council relied upon. Uh, it puts everybody in a tough spot when the information is certified. We go forward, spend money on engineering, uh, look like we're going to get connections, and we, you know, uh, time expense. The whole it looks it looks terrible. Honestly, well, and the only other thing that we could think of as to the reason why is because of, and I hate to say it, but politics. I mean, yeah, I, there was no politics because I, I will put that front and center on me. I get it. So, I call, called Jim and I told him because we don't have the capacity because I don't want the EPA finding city of, right. and we have a responsibility to our citizens to have the capacity because of what happened over Long Beach. Those are citizens from Long Beach. They have their own issues, but we have development that's going in on our, our side too. So we're holding that, that, that uh, development as well until we can figure out how to do how to handle this relief sewer. So you know, I'm not. What gonna... else are we left with other than saying, okay, uh, you've made a verification. Apparently, it wasn't uh, it wasn't either true or it was inaccurate. Whatever. 
uh, without, you know, we want to verify that you don't have the capacity. We need to, you know, move, be able to move forward. Mm -hmm. And maybe that'll solve everything if, if, if we can feel like certain that, okay, yeah, they, what they're telling us now is true, mm -hmm. as opposed to what they told us last summer. Okay. Can I ask a question? Yeah, please, Mayor. Um, what, what I would like to hear from is from Mike and or Steve, um, because I, I understand what you're asking, mm -hmm. is what, yeah. what, how did you come to this? Is it just because you saw standing water, or was there some technical, quanti quantitative data that points the, to the lack of capacity? So if we could have that information, I mean, that would be more helpful. Yeah, I don't have a problem with that because we're not hiding anything. It was just an honest mistake about the line. And so if, you know, Steve, can you address any of that at this point, or do you need time to prepare it, or what, what can we do? I can address it because I wasn't involved with this. Um, <clears throat> back in 2018, we've done a capacity evaluation for the sewer in question. Uh, and the sewer in question was not having any trouble between 2012 and 2018. Okay. Later, after this capacity cert was done, General Manager Milotovic took a look at the alarm records for what we refer to as the B and E manhole, and we realized that we, since 2018, we've had surcharge alarms every year since beginning of 2018. And that's why we declared that we didn't have the capacity. That's correct. Yeah. When did we do this? Twenty twenty three. That's when we submitted the application. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So this is five years. Someone didn't look at it, and when they looked at it after we granted you the the okay to go, then that's when they told me that it was a different line and that we didn't have the capacity. And that's when I called Jim and said to Jim, we can't process this right now until we figure out the relief sewer. Mm -hmm. That's where Steve, I asked Steve to come up with a plan. Steve came up with a plan, which is currently what we're discussing right now, to, to relieve this sewer. The, the project that is contemplated for Highway 12, yeah. that the Redevelopment Commission is throwing a couple hundred thousand dollars at, which is a great thing, yeah. uh, and uh, maybe be uh, some relief uh, that it's, that's going to enable a, a lot of his other development, not only the, that project along Highway 12 uh, for uh, near more between Moore Road and Carwick Road, uh, but the the, the 10 new homes that are apparently being constructed with sanitary sewer in Beachwalk on the south end of Beachwalk that I've got uh, that are now, you know, potentially that those lots are all going to be connected to the sewer. Um, but that's down the road. We've got five homes here uh, that are really, they've got plans, they've got a project, they're willing to pay for it, they're going to go through the right of way in Long Beach, and I with the flow that's coming from those partially used part-time homes, I just don't, it's, uh, it's hard for me to believe that they would create such an issue uh, for our existing system to tip it right. into some type of non-compliance situation. It's, it's, it's just uh, hard for me to believe. And so well, what we need to know is, first of all, uh, are you going to approve this permit under what conditions? Our application. Mm -hmm. Two, if there, if you deny it, that's great. Uh, not great, but I'll just do, we'll go somewhere else. We, we, there's other courts of review for yeah. judicial review, that kind of thing. Don't want to do that. Uh, right. The only person that makes money in that deal is uh, me and Jim. Yeah. Honestly, because ultimately the sewer is going to get built and we're going to get connected at some point in time. But we prefer it sooner rather than later and without court intervention and uh, acrimony or anything else. We're trying to work with yeah. the people here. I yeah. always have. Yeah. Um, the other thing would be you know, t to allow us to uh, take a look at uh, this manhole that uh, is a, a, potentially is the... Uh, sends the signals down to Mr. Milotovic's office, uh, you know, we can take a look at it. Sure. Uh, we, at this point in time, that's yeah. the first step. Yeah. I, I mean... Uh, yes, we're going to do that. I, yeah. I, we don't have a problem working with you guys on this. That was never our intent. Yeah. Our intent is to protect the city and protect what 
you know, with the sanitary district. But when we're not on the agenda, I realized last month's agenda was a little, you know, quick from right. about a week after having submitted right. the plans. But having another month to review those plans, we would have hoped to have been on the agenda today. I know we're on it now. Yeah. Uh, and, and you're giving us, we appreciate the opportunity that you've given us to address it and get some of the stuff maybe moving yeah. the ball forward. We'd like to continue to stay on the agenda sure. every month at this point until we get this figured out. Sure. I don't have a problem with that at all. We're happy to do that. We're also happy to do the the um, alarm records, correct? Yes. Yes. And can somebody open up a manhole for us to take yeah. a look with uh, someone that we can uh, have, uh, you know, yeah. this Who's your contact or how do we communicate? Well, uh, Mr. Maurer or okay. me. Mr. Maurer? Yeah. Okay. Or, uh, or, or Tim Haas or, you know, or me. Either way. Yeah. I'd like to be there with Mr. Maurer about that if you want to be present. I'll sure, I would love to be present. I'll be there. Have me too, Mike, please. Okay, sure. And, and can I add um, to um, just why y'all going, you are going through that process. Sorry for my voice, it's, it's been gone. But um, we're also looking for funds to, uh, to fix it, fix the problem um, in the meantime uh, as well. So. We are um, going on. And we appreciate that, Mayor, because, you know, that's it's going to be a combined effort. Not only the city, maybe the town, uh, potentially our clients, if they're the only ones that are going to hook, you know, we understand that. And they're ready, willing, and able uh, to contribute their fair share. Always have been. Their fair share. And, and uh, as long as people are being fair about it, we'll get this resolved. But. Yep. We need an answer on our permit application at some point in time, and, and okay. uh, whether it's conditional, something that we can take back to item because our permit's gonna, our construction's permit's gonna expire in I think June twenty third or twenty fifth, something like that. June thirtieth. Okay, so let me try. And you can get extensions. Yeah, I think we'll get an extension. Yeah. So so let's just take it the first step. Yep. All right. The first step is to open up the manhole. You guys can look at the, uh, took a look at that. Also look at the alarm records. Yeah. Um, you know, if if it's uh, the pleasure of the the board, you know, we can be involved in any of that, and then also um, maybe sit down with Mike and staff at a you know after they look at it, and we can come back and, and talk about it, and you know, kind of figure out what we want to do. Yeah, uh, I'm not an engineer, but I still want to take a look. I'm not an engineer either. That's why we have to depend on our staff. Right. So we're making decisions on what our staff is telling Absolutely. us. Absolutely. So, so that's why we're going to hire Mr. Maurer to go with us and tell us what it is and what it's not. Right. And for the record, this board has always appreciated uh, additional potential paying customers yeah. 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 at no cost to the right. sanitation yeah. district yes. or the city. We want customers. We have always more, yes. desired more and opened our uh, yeah. our doors to that. I know that. It's been a uh, motto is, uh, that I, you know, familiar with is you build it, they'll come. Yeah. <clears throat> so Agreed. I appreciate it. Yeah. I don't have anything else. Thank you. Thanks, Mike. All right. Thank All you very right. much. I'll thank reach you, out to Mr. Maurer uh, Monday. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, Mike. Yes. Maybe it's a little wet tonight. Well, they better. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mike. Just for, oh, that's IU. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> I, I thought I had my son. That was embarrassing. Thanks, man. Thank you. When it comes to basketball. All right. Um, a motion to return back to normal business. Okay. Second. Approved. All right. Uh, Dan, public comment, please. Dan, safety. 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 Afternoon. Okay. Okay. I'll make sure I'm helping you. So, in the interest of moving along here a little bit. Thank Thanks, you. Dan. <laughs> um, in February, just a really good month in February, with the exception of uh, water reclamation, we did have uh, one recordable injury. The employees already returned back to work. Um, and you have a description right there on page one of the, uh, the case description, uh, uh, contributing factors, measures taken to prevent recurrence. 
and basically uh, we'll have to take a look at uh, modifying our safety toe footwear program and uh, next month we'll bring forward uh, a recommendation uh, for your consideration. And I'll say that the refuse department has not had a recordable injury since November 24th, uh, 2023. And that's in February through February. Okay, in the next page, uh, I'll uh, talk about this, <clears throat> these two topics here on number three and number four. I'll speak more about that uh, possibly next month. I just want to say that uh, the maintenance department uh, did an outstanding job working with our contractor in preparing the disinfection system uh, for this year's uh, disinfection season. Uh, just some very commendable work there. And then um, I'll speak more about uh, and show examples of uh, uh, the good work that the operations department did in the wastewater treatment plant. What we did, we actually had a gun drill if you're familiar with that term, uh, back in my Navy days, um, I came into contact with that term when I was about 19, 20 years old. And uh, what it means is that um, basically I walk in with a, a scenario, uh, and the scenario was that we have chlorine leak, and I ask them to make the notifications. And I'll just, I'll go into more detail next month. Um, and I was very, very pleased with how the uh, chief operator and the operator on duty with him handled that situation. Okay. We called 911 Center. We called the uh, National uh, Response Center, manned by the Coast Guard uh, in Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. We called uh, uh, IDEM, their emergency number. Did that in quick order provided a little bit of coaching along the way on that. And then we got a, a phone call from the on-scene coordinator from uh, EPA Region 5 saying, thank you very much for doing your, your drill. We really appreciate that. He explained to the chief operator exactly what sort of support they would provide. And uh, I think the chief operator said, you know, I learned more in the last hour than I've learned in, <laughs> in the last five years. <laughs> so uh, it's, it, it was really a good, uh, a really good event. And we hope to do that more frequently uh, with all the other operators as well. Uh, so it's one thing to say, okay, here's, here's your call list. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to call one, two, three. We only have 15 minutes to do that upon discovery of the incident. And so it's another thing to actually make those calls and to speak to the Coast Guard, and speak to IDEM, and just see what the drill is actually like. So they did very well. Uh, so number four uh, on uh, you know other activities here on page three, uh, we uh, with the great help of uh, Michigan City Fire Department, uh, Tia Free, who is a uh, certified uh, American Heart Association instructor, uh, we were able to train 43 uh, wastewater treatment uh, personnel in first aid CPR and AED. Uh, this month here in March, we uh, trained all the refuse folks. Uh, I'll speak a little bit, just a little bit about the uh, Tier 2 report. In years past, I've talked about, okay, we submitted our Tier 2 report on time and everything. I don't know if you've ever seen what they look like. <laughs> so um, I've provided a copy of the Tier 2 report. We're required to report um, three chemicals, sulfur dioxide, chlorine, and uh, ferric chloride as, as part of the requirements under uh, uh, EPRA and EPA. Uh, we also reported on digester gas and uh, the CNG facility to let first responders know where they're located. That goes above and beyond the minimum requirements. So I think uh, that's something that management wants to do is to make sure that the responders uh, who come on site actually know what we have on site. And that's the purpose of the Tier 2 report. And then uh, 
That report includes uh, the EHS Facility Emergency Response Plan Development Checklist, and it goes through seven pages of information that we provide to the Local Emergency Planning Committee of LaPorte County, as well as first responders and the state on uh, the extremely hazardous substances we have coming on site and other hazardous chemicals. And that's sort of the long and the short of it. <laughs> any questions? Any answers? Oh, any questions? How many AEDs do we actually have? Five. We have five. And any located vehicles? Or no. No. Uh, that, that's a little bit difficult to do. The only people in the in or groups that have them in vehicles are the police department and the fire department, obviously, and EMS. Uh, it would be a little bit difficult, I think, to do that. And uh, each of these AEDs uh, cost uh, a little over $2,000. So they, they aren't cheap. Yeah. So any other questions? Good question. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Dave. Thank you. Thank You're you. welcome. Thanks for your support. Okay. I, uh, let's go to the financial report. Damon? Yep. I think you're going to give us probably a partial right now. Correct. Okay. Yeah, well, good afternoon. My, my name is Damon Seekless. I'm helping the district reconcile the books. Um, so my goal is to have the books reconciled, hopefully, uh, at the next month's board meeting. But in the meantime, I thought I'd give um, cash balances per the bank. Um, so you can you have a schedule there of listing all the bank accounts for the district. Um, <coughs> the first two items there that uh, accounts are the, the big um, accounts. Uh, the first one is for the sanitary district operating account. And then the second one is for the tax levy funds. Uh, the district has two tax levy funds, refuse and stormwater. So you can see there in 2023, um, the district had about $6.1 million. Uh, in January, uh, it went down to $5.5 million. And in February, it went up to, to just over $5.6 million. So again, my goal is to have the books reconciled. And we have the controller here, Mary Lynn. I'd like to give her a uh, shout out. Uh, she's helping uh, also assist me and the, the district in reconciling the books. So I want to congrat or thank her for that. So if anybody has any questions, I'd be glad to answer any questions you may have. I don't think. Any questions at all? No, this time. Okay. All right. All right. Thank Thanks, Dave. Thank you. Um, Damon, one second. Damon. All right. Um, our um, approving of the the um, our docket. We have the docket in here, six so, eight, so we can do that. When all right, it's, when it's ready for I the agenda. Are you, the the you, you've been working with the docket, making sure that everything's. I did not review it. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. I think Karen reviewed it. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Also, there, uh, from our previous uh, listing, ending the 28th of last month, uh, we did not ever receive a signature page that needed to be, I mean, we ratified it, but we didn't receive a signature page and we have not signed off on it, to my knowledge, uh, on for the last, uh, last month. So if, if we could, uh, let somebody would look into that and we could get that taken care of. I know it needs to be recorded somewhere, but I know that there was not a signature page uh, included yeah. and to hold not hold things up last month when yeah. uh, things became due, uh, we did ratify the the actual uh, docket minus the signature page. So I, I know that's still needed. Okay, just to, uh, yes, to make a record, you can get that uh, to the board so we can uh, yeah. get it recorded properly. All right. Thanks, Phil. Okay. Thanks, Phil. Thanks, Damon. Okay. Thank you. 
Okay. Let's go to item seven. Steve, update on projects. Yeah. Uh, first project uh, 7A is the laboratory structural repair. Uh, this is an emergency issue for the, for the laboratory. Uh, as you said, Commissioner, we don't want to let this freeze dog again for another year. Right. Um, we, we were fortunate that uh, part of the masonry work didn't fall on one of our laboratory workers last year when we discovered the problem. Uh, as you're aware, we hired Wiss Cheney and Elsner, am I saying that correct, Tim? Yep. Uh, to prepare uh, repair plans and a bid package for us. And what I'm going to ask for is board approval to release this bid package uh, so the contractors can bid on it with the bid due dates being the April meeting on April 24th. Okay. Uh, did you look at the bid packet? Yeah. Are you okay with that? Yes. Okay. All right. So can I, any questions on the bid packet? If not, then I will ask for a motion to approve for Steve to send out the bid packet. And how many companies are you sending this out to? It, WJE has two or three of their own companies. For us, it would be all of the locals that do masonry. Okay. Uh, at least three more. Okay. All right. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, the bid packet is approved to go out. Uh, the next item I put on the agenda is that we received a third party request to plant trees at the Carvick Nature Park. Uh, the third party was uh, well, like the MS4 coordinator for Laporte County. <coughs> and I reviewed what it was he was proposing to do. Um, I had Weaver consultants look on it, look at it as well because they're helping us with the, the environmental permits for the habitat restoration. Uh, and also inquired with Marty Moffin at the IDEM and provided that we keep the trees at least 30 feet back from the shoreline. Uh, nobody took exception to the idea. Uh, that's what I like the board's approval to allow the tree planting to proceed. It's tentatively scheduled for um, May 3rd and May 6th. I believe that allows the uh, Kruger School. Yeah. Um, yes. Uh, Paul Vacari, the, the uh, MS4 coordinator for LaPorte County, has got 400 students lined up that would actually do the heavy lifting on the planting. It's a, an educational exercise. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's a fantastic great. opportunity for us to earn credit under MCM2 of our stormwater permit. And, and I understand you've had a conversation with the city forester about the possibility of relocation of these trees in the future as they start to get a little too crowded in these planting areas. Yes, yeah. if like I, was, so I didn't anticipate we'd take any exception to the city forester and want to relocate some stock <laughs> if it's appropriate to do so. Yeah. Very good. What would be the liability with having students planting or working on our property? Is there a release by the parents? Or these are juveniles, right? You know, this is a, 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 a kind of like a school field trip, Commissioner. Um, we just mentioned heavy lifting, so that's why. Right. <laughs> these are saplings, so there's not a lot of heavy no. lifting to no. it. Do they, I, I don't know. I'm sorry. Not that that big, yeah. not not there, there is, there there is to my knowledge, from from the there is a sign off even for every single uh, field trip yeah, yeah. that yeah. Is, is filled out by each uh, prior to them even being able to attend to my to my knowledge I mean I, I yeah that's kind of it so that that should I mean maybe we should take a quick peek at it to make sure that there is no liability 
uh, but I would. Well, the district's not doing anything other than giving them permission to go on the property okay. and plant the tree. I was asked to sort of be present and present, explain what oh. Carwick Nature Park is. Okay, but were you, are you going to be monitoring and or managing the installation of the trees? No, no, attorney. Okay, okay. And we can get you a sign off as well, Steve. Okay. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> sign. Wear your hard hat. Yeah. <laughs> and your steel toe boots. Yeah. Boots for sure. <laughs> um, okay, so you're asking us to approve of the. The Just planting the trees yes. with the field, and uh, Mr. Warner just uh, uh, said that these are the same type of saplings that the tree board gets from the state as well. All right, so I believe these are from the state so right yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah, so all right, can I get a motion to approve the um, planting of the trees at the Carwick uh, Nature Park with uh, by the uh, the 400 kids that are going to go out and do this as a field project. What, what's the name of the organization? Uh, we were contacted by the Port County uh, Stormwater. Stormwater, yeah, the Port okay. County Stormwater. Yeah, it just should be in a minute. So we're so okay. the board's authorizing to do it. So moved. Second. Hmm. Second. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. I think they were such a hard one, guys. <laughs> Make sure your question was answered. Right. So you could second it if it was answered. Right. So here, third item C um, is a professional service agreement for Weaver Consultants to continue the habitat restoration monitoring at the White Dish uh, cleaning project from last year. Uh, because growing season hasn't begun yet, if you'd like to table this in uh, anticipation of the financial situation being better sorted out next month, there wouldn't be any harm. Yes, we'll do that. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, move to table it. Um, I can just table it. Our project in this table. Okay. Until next meeting. Yeah. Until next meeting. Uh, next item, uh, D. Uh, D1 uh, is a professional service agreement for Say Great Lakes engineers and surveyors to initiate the design of the U.S. Highway 12 and Lake Avenue relief sewer project. Um, to recall at the uh, last month's meeting, I pointed out that we've got a letter of commitment from the Redevelopment uh, Commission for two hundred and seventy-six thousand dollars for the design work. Uh, there's been representation subsequently that uh, adding the other features to it and collecting sort of some of the ancillary costs that we know will need to be done to fund that as well. Uh, the way this PSA is by the Redevelopment Commission. Yeah, I mean, Rich, Rich, right. I want you to by the Redevelopment Commission. And uh, the way this PSA is structured is that the initial authorization is for the two hundred and seventy-six thousand dollars, which is committed for funding already, uh, with the alternate A, which is an additional fifty thousand um, dollars. If we authorize it within sixty days of execution and uh, we find outside funding for that alternate A. So, but you, from what I understand talking to you, we have a, commi a commitment from the Redevelopment Commission that they... In verbal, it's not in writing yet. No, That's I'm, why I've broken it into two pieces here. Yeah, no, I understand that, but a, a verbal commitment that they will go ahead and increase it to include the additional 50000 Yes. Okay. All right. Um... We, we need to move ahead with this. Yes, we do. So we need to get this going. Um, I, I feel comfortable with the commitment that the Redevelopment Commission has given Steve on this, that they will they'll help us out with the additional on this. And really the addition is the, um, Steve, if you explain it, please, that it's, it's 
an entire project, right? But the addition is for what part of the entire project? It's it's going to include um, this maintenance access road for us. Okay, number one. Number two, it will cover the design of the maintenance access road. Uh, thirdly, it's going to cover geotechnical investigations that are going to be needed. It's going to cover the permitting fees for getting under the rail yard uh, and those items. Okay. All right. Okay. So, any questions on Steve on this professional agreement? All right. I would entertain a motion to approve the professional service agreement with State Great Lakes Engineering and Surveyors for the U.S. Highway 12 and Lake Avenue Relief Sewer Project. So moved. Do I get a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, motion passes for the professional service agreement with the various. All right, uh, the next, uh, I had a collection of four separate RFQs. Um, and Steve, I'm going to table those two. And that's, that's fine. None of those are emergencies. Okay. All right. Thank you. And um, we'll move on to item eight, which is the monthly staff reports. Oh, got the staff reports. Uh, honestly, I've been a little occupied to try to find some really fun stuff to talk about at this particular meeting. That's okay. We we read them, so thank you. Okay. Um, but you know that the disinfection is going to commence on April first. Okay. Um, chlorination, dechlorination, and that yeah. also hold up on that. So you can see everything. Water is very good. Lots of fish in the creek. That's good. Yes, it is. Have you contacted Ivan or contacted them about getting the grant to do the weight testing? I believe that's already in play for the beach. Yeah, beach, beach testing. testing. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. You. you we talked about that a while ago, I think. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Steve, I just want to say I want to thank you for making sure that mailbox repair was done on Earl Road. Okay. Like that. Yeah. It's important. It is. Mm -hmm. Customer service is important. Yeah, it is. Yeah. He's got to get his mail. Got his bill. All right, Jim. The. Uh, Nothing new on the litigation. It's still in discovery stage. Uh, this positive motion will be being compared motion, uh, but not until discovery time has expired. Um, you know, in reference to everything else, I've been working when asked with staff and board members to respond to questions and move ahead. Um, I would just confirm that it's very important that the board not approve any additional connections to that B and E sewer system. Uh, I think some of you may have been on the board, but all of you, I'm sure, remember what happened back in 2010, 2011, when the federal agents ended up coming in and raiding this place. Uh, ended up with an agreed order from IDEM and a consent order from EPA, and that uh, part of which, the main part of which was the fact that the manhole was overflowing and going directly into Trail Creek. And if this board with knowledge that there is a danger that any additional flow would cause an overflow into Trail Creek were to grant <laughs> a connection permit and then there was a rain that caused an overflow into Trail Creek, it would not be a a good situation. Uh, it's basically inviting a large fine, if not anything, something more. And uh, so, but on the other hand, you know, getting this project moving for the relief is a very important one. You've taken the first step, or, or probably the third or fourth step. Moving ahead with it, with the engineering for the design, is what has to be done. So, and Jim, that's exactly why you know I didn't take exception to what Terry Burgesson said. He's not here anymore, but it wasn't 
anything political on this. It was basically sure. that you and I discussed what you just said, right. and that's why I asked you to go ahead and notify the state. There was nothing else other than that. Right. It was to make sure that we don't get fined, we don't have problems, because of that, that manhole overflowing. Right. So that's still my stance on it until we can figure out how to somehow, you know, get this release sewer so taken care of. Yeah. Any other questions from the board on that part? Nope. Or any yeah. questions from me at all? Is, is there an expiration date to this discovery that seems to have been the discovery phase that has continued <laughs> to be ongoing? Yes. Um, but it's, uh, exponential? It's, it's, uh, is there in advance, in the future? I don't remember the exact date. So okay. I don't the thing, but uh, yes, there is okay. a case management order that would contain that date. I can tell you from experience of 40 years of practicing that uh, those dates are not carved in stone. <laughs> so, but there have been can we find a good there's been a lot of documentation. <laughs> can yeah, we find a good stone core yeah, carver? They, they, can, they, can, they can add on to uh, one lot. Unfortunately, yeah, they can add on to that discovery. Right. So now there has been a lot of documentation provided. Uh, you know, but it's, no, but they are. It's not that nobody's doing anything. It's just that there's so much of it. Is is there any current or uh, outstanding uh, legal fees that we may not have been assessed that has uh, maybe not hit our mailboxes? <clears throat> Yet, uh, with regards to, I believe that firm. I don't see them, but I believe they submit a bill every month. Uh, okay. They probably were very small this past month because they're waiting to get to. When I say this past month, February, uh, to get the documents. Now they've spent time reviewing them. I assume there will be some charges for March. Do we have a yeah. what's the check and balance on that? Where. I'm sorry, hold. It's a few minutes. Go ahead. Do we have a you know uh, a limit on that no, with them? We have an hourly contract with them I don't to know. not exceed or anything. anything. Yeah. I I don't. I think there was a not to exceed. I just don't remember what it was. All right, but it was uh, high. Like you know, it was. Yeah, there was a proposal that. We yeah, had. I don't. I just don't remember if that language was in there. That's why I was asking. Right. But I can look into it. Well, what was the name of that firm again? You, uh, well, Joe Spetnoff is the attorney. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. Thank you. I know we just hadn't mentioned his name. Anything else, Will? No, I was just, okay. I've been looking out for that kind of a fee now that we have actually got a few months of a docket, and uh, I just was curious that yeah. they, 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 if they, there was an additional they, outstanding they, they, yeah. bill that we could communicate to Mary Lynn to you know, be on the lookout for. Uh, that's all. Thanks. Thanks, Jim. Sure. All right. So um, with that, we'll move on to item 10, which is approved and allow revenue and tax levy claims to be paid. Any question from the board members on any of those? Just a comment. Uh, again, as Damon uh, had mentioned, we would like to uh, give a, a very sincere thank you to Mary Lynn, her staff, uh, attorney LePage, uh, and Tomiko. Tomiko. Uh, on behalf of the entire board, and, and certainly uh, our mayor, for giving us the support and the necessary direction in and, and, and having our word hold up that this, you know, we would be supported during our uh, our transition of our positions, uh, and, and and so a big thank you uh, for presenting us with. Uh, two months, and, well, a month now, and, and we received one last uh, month as well. But uh, we're very grateful that you and, uh, and the staff and the team has uh, aided uh, this board in having some numbers additionally in front of us. Uh, uh, Karen, as well, to your, to your role in communication yeah, thank you. Thank you. has been greatly appreciated. Uh, so thank you very much with regards to that. Jim. Yeah. I want to thank everyone for just echo what Holt had just said. It's been a pleasure working with all you guys, so thank you very much. Mayor, thank you too for your support. Um, okay, so with that, uh, can I get a motion to approve the uh, tax levy? Motion to approve. Um, 
Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, is there any old business? Any old business? Can I get an answer? I'm just kind of sure. curious, and I know Jim tried to explain a little bit. Um, Damon's position, I, and I wasn't here prior to his yeah. starting here, is he contracted with us? Is he a yeah. member of our yeah. staff? Is well, he you were here. It was just about two months ago that we went ahead and hired him. We yeah. made the decision with some of our issues because we're going to bring him in originally for the asset management. Right, right, correct. Um, seeing that there were some other issues with the financials, we asked him to step in and do some of the other work. And so um, once we get caught up on a couple of things, then his role will go back to trying to get the asset management plan taken care of for us. Hey, I, I believe you were, might have been, that might have been your only meeting that we missed when that went on, Chris. Yeah, there, yeah, yeah Chris, I think I probably you know, we had, we, the board, had a contract a couple of years ago starting with SEH, which is a firm, the engineering firm that Damon works for. Mm -hmm. For working on the asset management plan, the contract had no you know termination date other than completion of the asset management plan. As President Smith mentioned, when this issues come up with the accounting, since number one, you know, Damon's already involved in reference to the asset management plan, but in the past he's also helped the district in regards to cost of service studies. So he's very familiar with the district's financial condition. So the board voted to expand, let's say, the scope of work mm -hmm. of that SEH contract from asset management plan to include consultation regarding this transition period. And, you know, nobody has a firm date yet that I'm aware of, but, it, you know, whenever that transition period problem issues get resolved, then as Death resident mentioned they'll just go back to completing the asset management plan. Yeah. So, so the question is from you, yeah. how did, how is David being paid? Right. He's oh, our yeah. employer is there. No, no, he's, 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 he's a contract. He's a yeah. He's a contract. He's an independent contractor working so, well, working yeah. for SEH. He's yeah. an employee of SEH. Yeah. We pay us. We pay us. That's yes. right. Yeah. That was my question. Yeah. yeah. Quick question. I, I don't remember you voting to expand the scope of work. Was that December, January? Uh, yeah, yeah, we um, we actually hired him, like I said, Mayor, to do the asset management plan, right. and then I believe it was in January um, that I that I talked to Mike and said because Mike brought it up to me that we needed additional help. And I said, well, bring in who you need to bring in so we can get this taken care of, which then uh, Damon's role was expanded. It was either January or February. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, yeah, then I, I talked to you guys about it individually. And um, did you form did we take a we, we, we did not. Okay, that's what I'm we did. We did not. Yeah, I, um, I called each one of the commissioners individually. Chris, I don't know if I called you or not um, on it, but I talked to Holt and Tim to just, you know, ask them about it. I don't so, think we ever did a. I don't think we ever did a formal I, vote on it from the board. No. And so, what is our monthly obligation to yeah. this contract? It's an hourly rate, depends on how many hours he puts in. What's the hourly rate? <laughs> I don't know off the top of my head. It's in the contract. Um, Mike, do you have that contract? I have the contract. Let me just get it. What's, what's the average weekly hours that it's putting in now? I don't know. <clears throat> I'm going to have to ask. Mike on that, or do you, Marilyn, do you know it all? Or? No, I really okay. don't. Sharon, does he work here every day with you? No. Um, most days, yes. Yes, he's here usually five days a week. Not full time, but yes, he is here. And that was not our original agreement with him when when Scott was here. So um, after Scott left, he I assume some of the other other things that that two Scott was doing. Two people with mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, I have a question for uh, Attorney Meyer. So does, he, does the board require a vote for these extra duties or what we're discussing here about Damon? Do they need to vote on it or just a phone call and everybody agrees to it? Well, the, the, the original contract had a provision in it 
basically saying for as a management plan and anything and anything else that the district requests them to do. Yeah. So this would fall under the. And just, uh, my understanding is there was some written communication uh, from Mike and or possibly well, Mike about the uh, maybe Scott back then uh, to explain. And it, Demon's not here anymore, but I know he he wanted something in writing to demonstrate the, the fact that he didn't get paid for doing that. For, mm -hmm. And I, I know something in writing was prepared because I reviewed it. Uh, so I, I assume it was signed and I just so then he's, he's getting an hourly rate and hour. he, by whatever hour is he punching a clock? Is he is he I here don't or He's here. Well, I agree he's here. I, I hear Karen, I just don't know what, uh, what the So originally so but Mike's if it was Mike was on an emergency it, basis, why can't it be brought in front of the board for ratification at this point? It can be, it can be. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and it can be. Any so and and also let me add, I believe that there is a maximum amount that uh, our acting general manager or general manager can approve without board approval. I believe it's currently set at up to ten thousand uh, dollars. That, of course, can be uh, you know can be reviewed at any time. But I do believe that does exist currently, uh, to my knowledge. So, as long as it was under that amount, I, I it, a lot of times as a courtesy we get. Almost everything brought to us, uh, and there are times when, when we don't receive it as well. Okay. Okay. I never saw that. I sent that email to that address, but I didn't see that. Mm. Um, okay, Chris, to you answer your pay, your your question on it, it's not to exceed an amount of twenty six thousand. Asset management or the district? Is that that's, a different contract? That's the original contract. Yeah. Which he's not working under, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which it may or it has, and uh, we'll give you a copy of this. Okay. Um, happy to do that. And Don, if you wanted to, as the city council president, happy sure. to give it to you too. Um, it, it lays out a number of different services for the consulting that he would do. So, um, we got two guys. We expect to have certification for the asset management plan on Monday. I expect that's not a completion of the asset management plan, it's just a certification. Right, they don't have the preliminary engineering report or anything like that. Yeah, I mean, to me, it looks like these first four items are. Maybe we can just find out where are we at. Yeah. How much is being paid? That you know, how much if we have, what what bills we have occurred so you know incurred so far, and uh, and move forward. Yeah. Let's just get the facts. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. So maybe maybe. that is only the eighth. I know yeah. this. Yeah. yeah, it's only the eighth one. So the way I read the third page of the amendment, it shows that Damon makes one hundred sixty-three dollars an hour. Is that correct? That's what, that's what they're trying to do. That's yeah. not what he makes. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we're paying for. That's what you're paying for his services to as his employer. Yeah. Just like you pay, you know, engineering firms for engineers. The engineers don't actually get paid, but you're paying an hourly rate. Right? I wish I would have nothing. <laughs> yeah. Can I, can I just add something? Mm -hmm. Because the, the last page is March 14th. It's dated March 14th. Yep those fees and that's just only what we can have for them. So what is the difference? Or why is that is that just uh, all this is dated March 14th of this year. This contract was August 29th. The supplement should have been reviewed by you all to be voted on. And um this is unacceptable. I'm not understanding a full supplement or amendment that wasn't brought to the board as of March 14th. With everything that's going on, yep, this is problematic.
you made a vote on this or do a special meeting or something. I'm not understanding what is the supplement? Why a supplement? Why is there a supplement? Was there not enough money? I mean, what is the supplement for? Jim, did you draw up the supplement? No. Who drew up the supplement? Mike? Damon. That's the age. He drew up his own supplement? Their own supplement, and then you approved it. And then you signed it? Mm -hmm. hasn't been approved by us yet. Yeah. I'm saying, did Mike, did, didn't you sign it when he drew it up and gave it to you? I didn't sign it. As you can see, it requires a signature sure, sure, sure. for him to continue working for us. So there's additional money needed, and this has not been shared with the board yet. So you can't go on because you have to read it. You don't to so I guess my question is if we need to have more money for him, this is a supplement. But where are we with when it is the other contract. original contract going to run out with him? I don't have the exact figure. There was some money left in there. That's what he's been working on off of the original. Do you have the that original was the contract? Continue, um, I don't have it here now. Okay, can you get that to the board, please? Uh, yep. Yes. With that, I'd like to see the percent of the original contract that's been expended and what's left. Yep. Right. <laughs> right, correct. Right. Just not request that prior. <laughs> yeah, that's the facts. Okay. Great. Um, all right, so we're going to table this until we see the percentage of the per first contract, what's left, and um, how much has been spent in that contract. Okay. Any other questions on this, guys? Okay, any, any new business? Any new business? Any new business? Mm -hmm. All right. Seeing that there's none, I'm going to ask for an adjournment. So moved. Second. All right. All right. We stand adjourned. Um, Thank you, everybody. We may. Need